Can you smell what the Ralph is boiling? Me ain't say what it do. That guy Ralph, new video time. This one is another movie review. Spoiler free, I'm not giving anything away, but it's for a superhero, non-superhero kind of superhero movie. Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw, right? I know, you're shocked that I actually saw the movie. Um, the main reason why I saw it is because my girlfriend's obsessed with The Rock. I sent in 20,000 videos and it's the truth. So I'm like, you know what? I drag her to see every single film of mine, pretty much superhero comic book related. So why not go see one for her? So this is what we went to go see. Now, before I go any further with my review, be sure you go down below, comment if you saw the movie, uh, what you thought of the film. Also, like this video because why not? Share it with your friends because Shanger's Curry and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications, right? So, Hobbs and Shaw. Saw the film. I went into it with very, 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 very low expectations. The Fast and Furious movie isn't really my favorite franchise, like, at all. But I always end up getting suckered into seeing them or kill some time. I can count my hands how many I've actually seen in theaters. But I always end up watching them, like, online or on TV. I never really, like, make it a point to go see it. So, this is like one of the first ones that I actually paid money to see opening weekend, mainly because of my girlfriend, as I said. So, the movie was a lot of fun. I will be honest with you. The action sequences is really cool, over the top, just like we expected. The film was pretty much exactly what you expect it to be. A bunch of uh, one-liners, uh, bad story, stupid dialogue, and just attractive-ass people. And that's what the whole movie was, about... Uh, Two attractive bald guys find uh, finding another attractive black guy uh, who's uh, genetically engineered to be like a superhuman, super soldier, Captain America times 20 with robotic, you know. It's kind of like if Captain America got injected with an Iron Man suit inside his body, this is what you got from Idris Elba. Uh, I think his name was Brichter. But he was actually a really good villain. And I think Idris Elba as a villain is a really good idea. And after seeing this, I'm like, I want to see him play more villains because this man is he becomes the roles now two main characters Hobbs and Luke uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because throughout the whole movie my main issue was it focused so much on the rock I mean we all like the rock he's the rock he's the coolest fucker uh, ever right but the movie focused on him right you see a little bit of Shaw uh Jason Statham's always really cool but you can tell it was geared more towards the rock even the basics of the story where it was supposed to be his sister in trouble, as you've seen from the, the trailers. It was supposed to be Hobbs' uh, story. I don't know, man. It was just confusing all over the place. But I enjoyed the film. But a lot of things I didn't like was the story itself. The story was kind of weird, stupid, all over the place. Uh, didn't make any sense. Like, it came out of nowhere. Uh, it wasn't... Also, it didn't continue with a lot of the past stories. Like, it... uh. You know who Hobbs is, and you know who uh, Shaw is, and you've seen his brother and his mom and all the other films, but I feel like it didn't continue, and everything they said in this film seemed like it kind of just contradicted or was against a lot of the stuff from the other films, and it didn't correspond the way it should, and that was one of my main issues about it, but... Oh, also, uh, you see some guest appearances from a lot of cool people in this film. I thought those was really cool and entertaining. The dialogue is always a whole bunch of one-liners. Uh, they try to stick with family as much as possible, but it wasn't as serious as the Fast and Furious family thing. Their family was more like getting back into what they lost with their families versus Fast and Furious was all about family. But overall, the film was cool. Do I recommend seeing it is the question. Hmm. In a, I'm going to put this in a better standpoint. Uh... If you have some time to kill and some extra money in your pocket, go watch it. Other than that, it's a pass. It's a pass completely. There's no point on seeing it. Um, it's just a good time. That's it. But if you're somebody who's pinching pennies and doesn't have a lot of money or, you know, have to, like, struggle between what movie to see, this is a pass. It's not worth the money. Even my girlfriend who wanted to see the film saw it 
and said the same thing. She thought the action sequence was cool. I thought they were cool. I thought the final fight scene was really cool, but it still wasn't worth the money. But luckily, we go to the movie so much, we had some points, so we damn near saw it for nothing. So it wasn't even a big deal. And the main reason why she wanted to watch it, and fellas, I'm going to give you a heads up, is because of the attractive men. Visually, it's nice for a guy's point of view, because boom, bow, kapows, you know, fight, boom, boom, punch, punch, car, car. And the motorcycle that Idris Elba was driving is like really fucking cool. But um, they're attractive men. You know, Jason Statham's a nice, bald-looking guy. Idris Elba was the sexiest man alive, I think, last year, the year before, whatever. Uh, the Rock, same thing. You know, Dwayne Johnson, sexy. You know, but none of them is topping me. I wish I could say that. Well, whatever, man. I'm not on GQ yet. But who knows? Maybe one day. Maybe one day. <laughs> uh, just... Just know if you go into it, please have low expectations. Don't expect the greatest film ever. In my opinion, I enjoyed it a lot more than the other uh, Fast and the Furious films. But it wasn't the best. Like, there's still probably like three or four of them I could think I will pick over this film. Let me see if I can do it. One and two, of course. I really enjoyed six. Maybe three of them. Uh, the other ones are all right. I don't know. Oh, maybe Fast Five because Fast Five was like really cool. And that's it, but Hobbs and Shaw is like top five for me because it was just a very enjoyable film with a lot of funny moments. It dragged in a lot of points and it didn't need to be as long as it was. And I felt like they tried humor to max the fact that a lot of this didn't need to be there, but this made people laugh and say, fuck it, why not? So tell me what you guys thought of the film. Also, just to let you know, my next review will be on Bow Batman Hush. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for the longest. If y'all see my trailer reaction, you know how important this is to me. So please be on the lookout for this review. This one will be a spoiler. I'm giving you a heads up. I'm not doing spoiler free. I'm going straight to spoiler for this one. Right? Super excited to see that. I haven't seen it yet. I know it's online. But the next thing too I want to announce is I have a gift from uh, Ryan at Nerdy Blurb TV. And I'm waiting to open it so I can do a uh, video on it. And I'm going to explain the rest of it and how I got it in the next video. So please be on the lookout for that. With that being said, adios from Gente. Hobbs and Shaw was a really cool movie. But out of my spectrum. Comic books is my life, right? But don't let that uh, phase you. Go check out the video. Don't forget to uh, check out some other videos of what YouTube recommends. And subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Thank you again for watching.